Okay, welcome back to uh, our video tutorials presented by Tackle Trading. This is Coach T from Tackle Trading, one of the one of the coaches over there. I just want to kind of remind you that uh, you know we do these videos for you out there as beginners. Hopefully, we're helping you out. If you have any requests, jump in our clubhouse and uh, post those, uh, and we'll definitely try to to tackle any content that you need. Let's go back to Finviz. You know, we just did a video. You probably already watched it. If not, go back and watch it first. It's called the tutorial for the descriptive tab, and we're we're scanning in Finviz. Many traders who you know use websites, you know, Yahoo Finance or CNN Money or whatever it is, they're looking for alternatives to having to use software. Now, if you're a serious trader, you probably have a software tool. Um, you know, we're going to be highlighting some of those that we like as well. But if you're looking for free scans, one location is Finviz that I like. We've already covered the descriptive tab. Now, just as a way to kind of filter for what we're doing, I'm going to go over a million volume. We're going to make sure we're optionable. And we're going to set the price over 50. We go for some bigger ones. Now, pricing recommendations, it just depends on your strategies. You know, if you're looking for naked puts, you might be looking for smaller price stocks to control the margin. If you're looking for covered calls, you may look for a certain price range that, you, that fits your money management. Um, if you know that you're going to go do iron condors or bull puts or bear calls or spreads, well, the price, you may want them to be bigger so that you, you know, have a lot more liquidity. You want, might want the big big stocks. Now, let's go over to the technical tab. Let's talk about the technical tab next. We will get to the fundamental tab again in another video, but let's go through technicals. Some of the simplest things are the best things that you can do. Okay, Just by adding those three descriptive uh, filters in, I've, I've reduced my list down to 410. Now, one of my goals when I'm scanning is to get this to a workable number, but not over filter. The purpose of a scan is not to find the exact trade, it's to find a list of candidates. Okay, so I want to get this down to like 20, 40, that I can then go through individually, pick, make my own picks of four or five, and then I'll go through my own processes of then selecting by building the spreads, going into my brokerage software and looking at the numbers and all of that kind of stuff. So here's the technical tab. Now, to scan well, you have to know what you want. What do you want to find? That's actually an important question. See, people just start clicking buttons and they don't find very many good candidates and they wonder why. If you can't conceptualize in your mind, mind's eye what you actually want to find, you're going to have a hard time scanning. For example, are you looking for a bullish stock? Are you looking for a bullish stock that just recently broke out of resistance? Okay. Or are you looking for a bullish stock that is pulling back? Are you looking for a bullish stock that's pulling back and then popping back up? See, depending on what I want to find, I'm going to click the buttons differently. Okay? You got to think about that. Do I want something bearish? Do I want something that was bearish and now has started to go back up and might be developing a new uptrend? Depending on which conditions I want, I'm then going to list out all of my filters you know, based on moving averages, performance, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, based on what I want to look for. Now, the market's doing pretty well today. Why don't we see if we can find something that is like a retracement? Let's say this is what we want to find. You know, good uptrend, pull back recently, and then popping back up. Okay, so I go back over to my, my tab. And I think, okay, so what would a stock have had to have been doing to be in an uptrend. Well, it's probably got to be above the 200 MA. These moving average filters are simple ones. A moving average is the average price over a certain period, okay? 200 days, 50 days, or 20 days. <laughs> now, on your charts, you can actually individually build moving averages. But what if I also put in, like, above the 50 MA? Well, now I've reduced my list down to 200. We're getting there. So stocks that are above the 200 and the 50, those are good filters. Um, let's go through just what's available. Performance, you know, so we can say, okay, I want to look for stocks that are up today. That'd be a good thing, you know, triggering up today. Uh, market is actually is on an up day the day I'm doing this video, so that didn't filter too many out. I might want to look for stocks that are also up for, or maybe down, let's think about this, on a pullback for the week. So if they were down for the week but up today, that means they did have red candles, but now they got a green candle. Now we're down to 66. 
might want to put an average true range filter in. ATR is the measure of stock volatility. The average true range is an exponential moving average of the true ranges. The range of the day's trading high is high low. True range extends to its yesterday's closing price if it was outside of today's range. True range equals max minus min. Gives you some formulas in there. And I just did prove that I can read, so that's good. All right, let's say ATR over 1. All right, make sure it moves a buck a day. So now we're down to 47 companies. One that I also like is the change from the open. If I make sure that it's up 1% from the open, it's not only up today, but it's also showing a lot of strength intraday. So from where it opened to where it's running, now we're down to 12 companies. Let's look at the charts. Amgen, double top, pull back, just like we talked about what we were looking for, a little pop up, that's good. Cyber, about to break out of an ascending triangle, it had pulled back, good green candle today. EQT, okay, trend from January, higher low in March, breakout, it was going on red candles the last few days and then it popped back up. INTU, same thing. See, you can filter, if you can filter the right way, you can find patterns that are tradable. You know, uh, and by the way, there's 12 companies on this list. I don't have to trade all 12. You know, maybe I get it to where I just find one or two. That's a successful scan. Now, let's go back and let's reset the screener. I'm going to show you a simple trick if all that was just too confusing. If, if you're so new at it and you're just thinking, Tim, I can't remember all that stuff. Well, if you just in descriptive put in optionable and your, your volume and your price, you then can use the signal features up here where they have some pre-built signals. You know, for example, things like top gainers. There are three companies on that list. Maybe we'll keep it on snapshot view. Okay, there's a CYBR. And then I can kind of filter through these, you know, horizontal, SNR, trend line support. It'd be a good one. Five companies on that list. Okay, they're on a trend line, sitting on support. You know, maybe I also want to look at oh, a channel up. Let's click it back to the charts view so we can see more. So now we're finding stocks that are in channels, and then we can make our own choices. You know, it's a it's not a robust tool but not all tools have to be it's a simple screener it's very helpful it's very useful uh, especially if you don't have a software tool that you that you're using right now and if you're new and you're just trying to start to practice you may want to check out the screener at finviz and learn how to use the different tabs coach t from tackle trading get in the game Get off the sidelines and take control of your financial future at www.tackletrading.com. Get in the game.